guys and welcome back to Mummy Cooks Homemade. My name's Hayley and this is what we eat in a week. So, for a change, we all had tacos. This is Steve's with his uh, rabbit food. We've got the soft and hard tacos. And he's got salsa on his, which nobody else eats. This is homemade sweet and sour Hong Kong style. We do enjoy this. And I did too many chicken balls, so I banged them in the freezer. And they reheat in the air fryer perfectly. So, yeah. That was what we had that night. Fancied that. What was this? Oh, yeah. Jacket potatoes. Rabbit food. A bit of tuna. A bit of prawns. They were garlic butter prawns. I, I did, took the shells off and cooked them up. This is already out. This is... I think this is the last video that went out. I think. I think, I think, I think. Yeah. At the weekend. This is the pizza pasta bake for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. Go check that out. And what's next? What is next? What is next? There are the garlic rolls behind. The video of that also went up at the weekend. Ah, homemade chips and some chicken Kievs. I haven't had chicken Kievs or Kievs or whatever way you want to say it in ages. So I fancied them. So I've got a small horseshoe gammon. This is for Sunday. I've had a lot of personal stuff going on this week. And I've also got Caitlin. I'm recording this Monday, so I've also got my eldest going away for three days with school today, which I'm a bit anxious about. So I've had to pack up all her stuff for her to take with her. Oh, yeah, it's been a lot. So it was just the four of us this Sunday. Horseshoe gammon, just putting a bit of blackstrap molasses in. I also had bay leaf and peppercorns in my little wire basket thing. Can't think what you call it now. So yeah, I didn't go mad this weekend. Didn't have time. Um, I was just worn out, really. Um, struggling a bit. So the in-laws are coming every other week now. Which they're absolutely fine with. Bless them. You try to struggle on just to keep yourself going, I think. But if they'd have known... <clears throat> I was struggling they would have told me off <laughs> so yeah every other week from now on except Christmas they're here Christmas Day and Boxing Day so I cook that on a simmer for an hour and a half I don't like my I don't know if it's it there's a way to describe it I don't like my gammon wet inside you know when you cook, cut it and it's so it's not it's cooked but it's wet i don't like it like that i like my uh ham quite dry i don't know if that's the right way to explain it to be perfectly honest i don't like if you can press a slice of it and you can see the moisture in it anyway i'm just taking off the excess fat because i don't eat that And having that on there will stop the uh, honey seeping into the meat. So I'm just going to score the little bit of fat that's remaining. Most of that will melt off. And just stick some honey on. We're going real basic this weekend. Even pudding was out of a box. I'm going to do this one kilo bag of baby potatoes. All I'm going to do is quarter them and stick them in the air fryer until they're crispy. All that that you can see at the back there, that's <laughs> most of that is bread flour. I'm uh, trying to find a home for it. I've got so much flour, my flour bin that I've got, which is about... I don't know, maybe 40 litres is full of different flowers. So yeah. <sighs> Just taking off that little bit of remainder of fat. And as you can see in a minute, my little stalker is somewhere about. Waiting for this. So she's munching on that now. 
So you can see from the pieces that it's not a damp meat, if you see what I mean. It's not dry and chewy, it's just not a wet meat. And that's how I like mine. So we had this with them potatoes. And some salad. I actually quite enjoyed it and some part baked rolls. It was easy, I had enough to do yesterday. Just leaving this to cook was ideal. It didn't yield that much, but it didn't really matter. It fed us and there's some left over, so what more can you ask for? I do like honey ham. And well, not end, middle of um, November is usually when I pick up my Christmas joints. So I'm now working on my freezer. I've got to clear a shelf off for that. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting them. Seeing how much the price difference is this year, that's gonna be a bit of a shock, I bet. I do have, I'll mention them now while you watch me chop up my salad and stuff. Um, I've noticed that there's a lot of activity on my playlists. I have got Christmas playlists, um, two years worth, if you want to watch them. They are, all the playlists are labelled. All you have to do is click on playlists at the top of the screen. I've got one for old school, called Old School Nostalgia, which is um, puddings from when we was back at school in the school days, recreating them. There's, I don't know, over a hundred meals of the week, I think. They're probably the same, if not more, of hauls. I bet there's tons that you've not watched, as well as um, family favourite meals, casseroles, if you want ideas for over the winter. There's a frugal playlist, a meal, couple of meal prep playlists. So guys, by all means, go look through the playlists as well. See if there's out there you fancy watching. So this is the pudding that I did for the kids. <laughs> and you know what? It didn't even get cut into. <laughs> it didn't even get cut into. After doing the kids' summer, even though it was only a box like caram Kipling caramel cake, it didn't even get cut into because they had flapjacks out the cupboards. <laughs> but whatever, it was like so quick and easy to make. It really, it didn't bother me at all. More for me, <laughs> and that's all I used. Some of that in the centre of it. The beauty of boxed. When you don't have the time and you don't have the energy to do a proper one. I think I do enough home cooked everything to allow me a shortcut now and again. So I take it. If there's times that I need to take it, I take it. No one should be ashamed of having to take a shortcut now and again. I can't tell you what this cake is like yet because no one's tried it. <laughs> I'm just checking to see if there's anything not whisked in and I found a bit. So I just split this between two 20 centimetre tins, baked it for 25 minutes, gas four, and Bob's your uncle, as I say. I've disappeared, but I do come back. I'm looking for my tins a lot. You've got to move this to find this. <laughs> That's how it is. There we go, found them. So spray your tins down, as I've already done, and put your paper in and make it so much easier for you to get them out. There they are. See, normally I don't allow them to cool down in the tins, but like I say, I've been busy. And you can tell my kitchen's cooled down a lot, because look at that, look, it's going to tear the cake. I just realised, so I've gone super slow. <laughs> 
my brain's on still still on summer mode where everything was like nearly liquefied <laughs> if i'd have remembered i'd have just microwaved it for five seconds the dog's there look she can smell summer and that dog absolutely loves anything sweet she's a little madam is this a michelin star cake no no it's not but at the end of the day there's only us eating it and nobody cares, you know. Smack the lid on, cover it up. Happy days. Here's what it is. There we go. Quick and easy caramel and vanilla. And this is what we had. A bit of pork pie, cheese. The ham was delicious. A bit of rabbit food. This one's Steve's. And those baby potatoes done in the air fryer. And the cake that nobody had yet. <laughs> is what it is. But yeah. That's the best I could do, manage this week. Life just gets in the way sometimes, don't it? It's one of them things. But yeah. Please check out them playlists like I mentioned. Um, don't forget to like, comment. Make sure you comment guys. You know I love chatting to you subscribe hit that notification bell share it if you can and i'm gonna see you again on wednesday wednesday we've got a sainsbury's hall a large one so i will see you then bye